Dollhouse, Dollhouse, Doll freaking House. Okay, the third episode of Dollhouse is Stage Fright. This episode isn't a straight up Echo Fights the Patriarchy kind of plot. However, it does have some feminist themes. The gist is that there's this female pop singer called Raina, who's essentially Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, that kind of person. And there's this creepy stalker fan who's trying to kill her for no apparent reason other than he's a creepy stalker fan. So Raina's manager hires the dollhouse to have Raina given a bodyguard who she wouldn't expect to be a bodyguard. So the dollhouse gives Echo this personality of Jordan, a woman who signs up to be a background dancer. Persona and parameter, two separate elements. Persona, she's a struggling singer who just got her first break. A parameter, she must protect Raina, which she will do instinctively and unconsciously at all times. So she doesn't even know she's a bodyguard. And this makes what better? Who do you want? Someone who's paid to protect you or somebody who wants to protect you? And she gets this attachment to Raina so that she becomes suspicious of everyone and helps security. And the dollhouse also puts Sierra into the mix. They imprint Sierra to be a adoring fan of Reyna. So adoring that the stalker would focus his attention on her instead of Reyna. Before the engagement, Echo and Sierra met in the spa area and decided that they were friends. And friends help each other out. Oh. I'm sorry. I was dizzy. I didn't want you to get hurt. You're my friend. Friends help each other out. Yes, they do. This sentiment, acquired in the Tabula Rasa state, is kept during the actual engagement over their imprints. But more on that later. Echo discovers that Reyna has actually been communicating with the stalker fan, and she plans for the stalker fan to kill her, because she wants a way out of the music business that doesn't make it all worthless because she put so much effort into becoming this popular figure and if she were to drop out of fame then she feels it would be worthless. Reyna feels objectified as this pop culture figure and there is a direct analog to being a doll. What have you got to be miserable about? No. Right. Uh, I gotta be happy. I gotta be grateful. I gotta be rebellious. But just enough to give me cred so people know I'm not a factory girl. But I am. I don't exist. I'm not a real person. I'm everybody's fantasy. God help me if I try not to be. No, you weren't grown in a lab, but I was. been singing for my supper since when and before when and for everybody else. God put this voice in me and forgot to make it mine. I don't feel it. I don't feel anything for a long while. But I know he's out there. The Reaper. Any minute now. This mundane aspect of life is now put under the microscope to be critically examined. And then the stalker kidnaps Sierra, and Echo feels this devotion towards Sierra to protect Sierra, because friends help each other. So then Echo helps Reyna, scaring her into uh, wanting life for herself, and at the same time she helps Sierra and she defeats this evil stalker fanboy. So in getting Reyna to want her own life, she is in a way freeing a metaphorical active of the dollhouse. I want to live! I know. And then she's wiped. Sierra's wiped. But Echo still has some memory. Sierra sees her in the hall. Echo indicates to her that, no, 
They can't be together. They can't be seen together because that would be bad. She recognizes that they're victims of the dollhouse. Not only that, she's being sneaky. She's rebelling in the long term. She's keeping covert and then she'll liberate them one day. And in the side plot, Agent Ballard is still tracking down the dollhouse and he's talking to Lubov and he does this uh, description of why the dollhouse has to exist because there's always a dark side to human nature and if we have technology we will use it in a bad way. Really makes it look like the dollhouse is evil. I, I don't really see how uh, people could have missed that the dollhouse is supposed to be evil. Reyna also has a song called Freedom which comes up at a few points. Echo sings that to get in and uh, at the end of the episode, we have a montage overlaid with Reyna singing Freedom. And because this Freedom message involves the uh, dolls, the, the actives hiding in the dollhouse, I really don't see how you could miss that there's a message of liberation here. The dolls, the actives, they need liberation. And that's going to come from Echo. Gotta find the freedom that's promised me. Freedom from our struggles and our misery. Freedom is all we need to heal the pain of history. I've gotta find the freedom that's promised me. Freedom from our struggles and our misery. Freedom is all we need to heal the pain of history. Each day when the sun shines upon my eyes, it fills me with love, makes me feel alive. I'm saving it up for a rainy day when there's no light to guide my way. I gotta find the freedom that's promised from our struggles and our misery. Freedom is all we need to heal the pain of his soul. 